Hello and welcome my lovely viewers. I am so happy that you are here because today we have a super exciting subject. Um, I am going to be discussing four apps that I think are super, super beneficial for children and students with um, autism spectrum disorder, as well as other related disorders and learning disabilities. So in my daily life, I work with children um, with learning disabilities and with autism, and I have found that these apps are super beneficial and super engaging for these kids. So I am gonna go ahead and go down a list of really, really super fun apps that parents, uh, teachers, grandma, grandpa, siblings can go ahead, anybody can go ahead and download so that they can um, help their um, their children and their students with um, effective and really fun learning. So I am going to go ahead and go down the list. So we have four apps today. I'm gonna be talking about Look Engineer, Let's Create, an app called Reader for Dyslexia, and MTA. So our very, very first app, Look Engineer, I found to be super, super interesting. It is an app designed to help kids um, with autism feel more comfortable with looking other individuals in the eye. So it is a very clever app. I really have had great success with um, my kiddos that I have worked with use this. They have found it to be super fun, and if they like trains, that is a plus. So this is what our home screen looks like. Look in my eyes. Again, the app is called Look Engineer. So we're gonna go ahead and press play. We have this fun little guy. We have our conductor giving us some directions. Okay, we can go ahead and skip that for now. So how long do we want a train ride to be? So your student or child can pick any length of train ride, I'll pick short for now. And then you have like kind of a list, this is really fun. You have like a list of destinations that they can choose from. So you have Mount Rushmore, American Heartland, you have New York, you have India, China, Cambodia, um, you have Kenya, you have Egypt, you have all these really cool destinations. So for today, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick, I'll pick New York. So we'll go ahead and press play. See here, we have a number that actually popped up in the child on the screen's eyes. So then that our uh, kiddo that's working with this, um, working on this would then press hopefully the correct number. And then they get um, a prize, which is the coal for um, the fuel for the train. So that's pretty cool. Um, just like a little prize for the end. Um, we would pick number eight. So again, super, super engaging. I really like this app. I have found it to be really effective and really fun for the kids that I have worked with. And I, I really did see um, some progress and just the comfortability from the beginning to when we got to play with the game or play with the program a little bit more. So I found that to be really effective. Um, children with autism typically, um, not always, but typically um, find difficulty in um, engaging in direct eye contact and so that app is designed to promote that comfortability and um, assist in um, engaging in eye contact a little bit better in a non-intrusive way. Um, I found that to be really cool and useful so there's our first one. Uh, again it's called Look Engineer and you can download that one on the App Store. Our second one my most personal favorite for sure is Let's Create. So we have Let's Create. Here we go. Some cute little music. I don't know if you can hear it. There we go. Gives us a screen and shows us a bunch of different um, kind of themes we can choose from. And I really like this app because it helps kids, um, it, it promotes their, their creativity, and, but it also helps them identify um, and associate objects with certain groups. 
And I think that was um, one of the goals here in creating this application. So I really, really love this one. So let's go ahead and pick. Um, I have I had so much fun when I was um, uh, working on this one with one of the kiddos. Um, so you can go ahead and build with this guy in any way that makes sense to the kiddo. You can, let's see. Kind of making like a fort there. Um, what else can you do? You can go on other, other themes. You can make a cool flower just to get these kids kind of, to help them kind of get an idea of um, how to associate certain objects with other things in groups. So I really like that premise. Um, let's see, we also have coin one we have building you can build a house this one's kind of funny but useful some garbage <laughs> um and we also have oh i love this one we have our seashells so yeah this one just is really really cute and really fun i would probably suggest this for an age group of maybe like three to maybe four to six um but I, um, I saw, I saw a lot of, um, a lot of smiles when I, when I would pull this app out and use this one with the kiddos. So I think that this could be really, um, beneficial and just, again, kind of, um, group association. So identifying objects and putting them into groups and, um, in a really kind of, um, kind of clever and fun um, super fun way. So, and that's also um, kind of fuels um, their creativity and, and with building. If your child um, likes to build, they can, they have all sorts of kind of themes here where they can, they can put things together in a really systematic and interesting way. So um, I really, really like this app again. This one is called Let's Create. All right, let's move on to our next app. That one is called, let's see, our reader. So this one is called AVAZ Reader, a vase, ho hopefully it's a vase, a vase reader. So this one um, specifically is targeted towards um, children with dyslexia. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys an example of what this looks like. This is what our home screen would look like. So we have, let's get started. So we have d uh, some different stories here and you can, they have tons and tons of stories. Um, that you can choose from like a library where you can choose different stories that your child would be most interested in reading about So let's choose this one for now. Just their um, their sample story. So We have a audio assist on here So let's do it he would keep saying in the fast, fast So we have the our fastest. audio assist and then we also have um, so if we need to uh, sometimes it's really beneficial to actually be able to move your finger with the word. So I really like that aspect you use your little pencil and you move to your next word. I find that really cool and again you can press on the word and it will um, either read it aloud to you or it will do something really cool. So if you go to the bottom here, ooh, wrong one. Let's see. So you can go back here, you can press hint. Let's do a more challenging word. So let's try speedy. Oops, no. Okay, so I chose the word tortoise. So, tortoise, so it's gonna go ahead and give you words that it is going to rhyme with here, and then also how it's gonna be pronounce. So it's going to break the word down and kind of show you how each word and each section of the word will be pronounced. Um, and then it will also give the syllable so that you can sound it out with your student, which I really like. And then it will show you picture. So I really like that. It's just a super interactive way to, um, to read and engage with, um, oh, what's this? 
Oh, again, just it will actually read aloud the words. We have an audio assist here. So a really fun and interactive way to learn how to read. And also children with dyslexia, it can be really unmotivating when you see everybody around you just be able, able to read and learn so much easier. Um, and when things just look so opposite in your brain and it, and it can be so unmotivating and so challenging and so hopeless sometimes. So to have something like this, to have an app that actually, actually kind of helps you, especially if you're a very visual learner, just helps you really break down, especially these really hard words, um, that can look really confusing and look really, really, really backwards. It just, I think, I think it, um, fuels a lot of hope and, um, is, is much more, um, motivating and exciting for these kids um, to, to interact with. Uh, I, I really got excited about this one and um, we'll be using it over a period of time. So I more to come on this one and about, um, about the progress I see um, using a Vaz reader. So again, located on the App Store, but really cool stuff. So our next app is, so we have... So we, it is called M-I-T-A, and it has like a little elephant next to it. So M-I-T-A, I realize that that looks backwards in your screen. Um, okay, so, oops, just exited out. I have an older model of an iPad, so I hardly think that is um, an in-app issue. Rather, it's probably just my... Um, iPad kind of breaking down here. So, um, all right, let me go to our, our home screen here. So we have all the, and this is geared for parents. Again, it says parents, but also just guardians, grandma, grandpa, um, aunt, uncle, teachers, tutors, whoever. So, whoever is assisting um, this kiddo in, in um, more effective learning. Um, so again, we have all these really fun games um, and they will uh, kind of break it down and tell you whether they're easy, intermediate, or challenging. Let's go to the very first one. So, or not, uh, let's see, let's go to our language game. So, go ahead and start this tour. So we'll kind of go ahead and show you how to use the game. And let's go to the game sample. So, should have some audio here. Find the three small blue dogs. Again, kind of helping with that group um, association. So identifying color, identifying size, and identifying what the object the is. Couch. So this is put super, super duper helpful. Green cup. So it wants us to put the big green cup. Okay. <laughs> That was a little obnoxious, but no. <laughs> um, okay, so then we're gonna have other things like matching games. So let's go see a matching game. Go to game Match sample. Match the car. So we wanna put our blue car. That was fun. So again, we want to match the car. So we have two red cars. They look very similar. Again, it's just kind of about helping your child identify and um, be a little bit more aware of the differences between these cars. So um, yeah, group association, identification, all those things. We have vocabulary builders. We have sorting games. We have arithmetic. Um, what else do we have here? We have opposites. We have... Um, reading games, writing games, counting, analogies. We have a lot of different, I think there's over 79 different, um, different games to go through. So again, this app is MITA and that is also, um, found on the app store. So again, I'm super excited about all these, um, I really find them to be super beneficial for, it, for learning as well as to be really engaging. So um, let me know your guys' thoughts about these different um, applications if you've either used them or you're really excited to use them now. Um, 
uh, or if you have some other suggestions, I would love to hear. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am so excited to hear your guys' thoughts and I really hope this video was helpful. Um, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day.